Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play RimWorld. Boy, I hope I said RimWorld. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, yeah, everybody's sleeping. Um, it's still raining. I, I don't know if it if it stopped raining and started raining again, or if we just have found ourselves on a really rainy map. Uh, let's see. We are researching uh, for complex clothing again. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that in this episode. We still have wood out in the rain. Um, it's deteriorating. It's not deteriorating quickly. You know what I don't know is if that means anything. Um, if... I mean, I know eventually it'll decay away, but let's say I grab this pile of wood here and take it inside and, uh, it's damaged like some of this wood is. If I build, like, a wall with that, will that wall be damaged? Will the bed be damaged? If I build a bed? Um... I don't know. Does does it have a less of a fuel value? Does does it say, "Hey, this game has lots of tool tips." Let's see. It has many things. Um, it has a body part efficiency because, of course, it does. Uh, deterioration rate, flammability. Um, do any of these stats seem to affect anything? How much an apparel made of this material improves a wearer's minimum comfort when worn? Sweet. Um, sharp damage. I don't know. I don't know that it affects anything. I don't know that there's anything here that lets me say that. Makes me think that. Um, is there like, was there like a fuel value stat that uh, I'd, I'd missed? Not really. Hit points. Does that say anything? No, it just tells you how many it has. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would assume not uh, with the experience that I have with this game, but uh, my assumptions are not something to ever uh, base anything off of and are generally corrected in the comments below. So, yes, um, if you <laughs> are wondering about that yourself, uh, just check the comments, and if you do know, uh, do leave a comment, as that is what the comment section is for. At least, that's what I use it for, um, <laughs> to learn more about the game that I'm currently playing. Um, and thank you for that. I, I, I really appreciate that. Um, never hesitate to point out something that I'm doing wrong or that you think that I can do better, because I guarantee you that you're usually right. Uh, you're usually correct. I, I, I don't I don't uh, I don't claim to be an expert at any of these games. Um, I just really really enjoy playing them. So yeah, um, enough enough gushing over my viewers and <laughs> the advice they give me. Let's uh, roll the intro and uh, get on with our day. All right, Sean and Berkey are busy in the rain uh, replanting the crops. Uh, we are at the 12th of Juggest, and I believe rice just grows ridiculously fast in fertile soil. Uh, harvest yield six in three days. So we, we have enough to, to bring several more rice harvests. Generally, the way that it works is rice grows the fastest with the lowest yield. Potato uh, corn grows the longest but has the highest yield, and uh, potatoes fall somewhere in the center. It's generally best uh, to do corn, and uh, I, I do like to do that. Um, the more long-term investment strategy, uh, and I like to do that whenever our colony is completely not starving, like it generally has been this playthrough uh we do have 11 meals which expire in 2.8 days 2.6 days those will be gone through relatively quickly i'm wondering if we want to invest in this dough right here i think we do all right let's go ahead and bump up the speed a little bit um i'm wondering if we're like really dangerously close to uh to losing some of these animals i may take sid's handling down a bit let's take him uh boy he's got a lot of twos he has a lot of twos he's got he's got four twos handle but it, it doesn't matter they're they're all 
the the numbers are arbitrary, really. It doesn't matter what values you set. Uh, it values the values of the values that you set. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, as some, uh, it was mentioned in the comments. Let's let's just let's just do that. Uh, that we can can we can we. I mean, do we, we get their mass forbid? Unforbid? I don't know. I thought I I thought I I thought I'd saw that. Uh you can't forbid these? Hmm. Uh let's 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 do it in the stockpile. Let's uh forbid all this stuff. Groovy. Um Let's see, how do we Oh, okay. That's that's the new part. I think. I don't remember that being in there before. So there used to be... There's a mod that puts a button that just says, Hey, yo, uh, unforbid everything, please. Uh, but that is new. And I think I kind of like that a little bit better. Um... That way you're you're controlling. You're not like saying you know for unforbid everything, and then you have something you know forbidden over here that's in a dangerous area or something like that. I I don't know if that's practical or not. I I don't know. It, it feels a little bit more, dare I say, immersive to uh to, to mass forbid, but but to be able to do it like that. Because uh, before, if like all this stuff was forbidden, uh, you could go and say do all that and then unforbid, and then do all this and unforbid and. Auto save and then do all this on forbid, but it feels like that. Well, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna just just gonna do it. I'm just gonna test it. Let's forbid all that. Let's forbid all that, and let's forbid all that, and then go into our orders and unforbid. Excellent. That's 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 a very good. Oh, and we could have just said that too. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Welcome to uh, this episode of Kitch Learns How to Play the Game. Uh, let's see. We've got we've got these chicks. Okay, the Ibex wasn't in there, but the chicks are. Okay, so just wanted to make sure nobody's going in and, and prematurely taking all of our rice crop. Uh, Sid, okay, we've got you on super duper taming duty. I wish you wouldn't use the potatoes, but you know, I don't, I don't know that it matters really. Should be able to get one more of these in. Uh, let's see. Uh, we had some. Okay, there's some right there. Let's see if we zoom out really far and double click it. We can do that right there, and we can get some of this heel root harvested. Uh, do we have any over here that we can do the same for? And you know what, uh, Sid? I'm going to go ahead and bump up your handling a bit just so you do that, because that seems to be really important. Ah, there's one right there. And boy, I don't like this wood being way out here still. Anometric power cell. One sleeping mechanoid in the area. Hmm. Yeah, I'm almost wanting to, to, to send people out manually just to get... That's a lot of wood out there. That's a lot. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning. After Sid visits the grave of whoever this is, does it say? We do we ever do we ever find out? Do we get to know? Contains the human corpse. Um, no. But this one tells us, right? Contains human corpse. It tells us who made it. Um, it doesn't tell us who's in it. Unfortunate. 
Well, hopefully we can dig up all the bodies and uh, see if we look at the skeleton. Does it tell us who they are? Yes, it does. Reindeer, what you up to? You're viewing the art in your room? That works. All right, everybody's awake. Uh, let's see. Sean, you aren't doing anything, and we can't set you to... Uh, we can't set you to haul because you won't do that. Um, get rid of that. It's just teasing me over there. Uh, let's go to the wildlife. Oh, we've got muffalo. We've got a bunch of muffalo. Boy, it'd be nice to have all those muffalo. Uh, let's just do generic sort of tame order on them all. And uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's prioritize. Let's see, you're a three-year-old male. Uh, actually, you know what? We can do this through the wildlife tab. Uh, female, 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 male, and uh, we'll just we'll just take one of the males. Does it say? Doesn't give us like a tool tip on which one is which. No, it does not. However, is that the one we wanted? Three? Sure. Great. Fine. Wonderful. All right. So those will be tamed maybe someday. Uh, do we have any animals around? I, I know we can hunt through the wildlife tab. It's just I would like to get closer ones if at all possible. We can go shotgun this tortoise. Might as well. Uh, is this our doe? That's our doe. Yeah, just nothing's just nothing's close. Uh, the boomalopes, we saw those down there. We do have some wild alpaca that are way over there. I have a mega sloth that's way over there. Uh, we could do that, maybe. Oh, we've got some over here too. John's going crazy with a turtle again. Got him. Don't know if tortoises are really that tough or if Sean is just that bad of a shot. Um, you are over researching. Let's uh let's just let's just do this. Harvesting wild heel root. I'd like to keep you on that. And you're hunting the mega sloth. Um, yeah, let's let's just get the wood in. Oh no! Oh no! This is this is not good. Um, can you continue to run away? Not really. Um, let's get let's get everybody here to help. Eventually. Can you shoot it? No, you can't. But you probably can melee attack it. I don't know if your defense is any better if you're melee attacking. That did not look good. Uh, maybe you should just run. Oh, Berkey, I'm sorry about that. Can you get away? No, you cannot. Um, is the Mega Sloth vengeful? Not so much. Berkey, were you stealing silver from us? Oh, know how I feel about that. Um, okay, let's, let's get all that. Uh, Berkey just happens to be our doctor. His right hand was just bitten off. Oh my. I didn't know I had him set as hunting. Set as a pretty high priority hunter too. Sorry about that. My fault. Um, who is our next best doctor? That would be Sid. Sid. Yeah, you get on that. Uh oh. All right. Nope. 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 Oh, reindeer. Sean, where are you guys? 
You guys are coming. Not quick enough. <laughs> Our colony's gonna be taken down by a mega sloth. I haven't had problems with them in the past, really. I mean, I don't think of mega sloths as really being. I, I remember being very fearful of them at one point, but uh, never anything really bad happening because of them. Um, apparently, that was not the correct uh, correct attitude to have. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll get, get these people rescued, hopefully, and uh, we'll get their stuff all unforbidden. And here I am, after doing all this stuff, we're just going to go through and do it all manually, because, of course, we are. Um, I do think that this is actually worthy of, of doing some real medicine on. Let's see, Sid, did we... We can't check your tab while you're being hauled. Is that is that what I'm looking at here? I guess not. Um, can we do that from anywhere else? Um, I don't think so. Can we pull it up at all? No, we can't. Fine. Okay. That works. We'll just deal with that. Um, who is our next best doctor? Nobody. <laughs> but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, so we're going to do what we got to do. Uh... We'll go ahead and set those there. You're gonna go have a meal. Uh, just, just tend him, man. Just, just tend him. Why is there a mad buffalo? I don't, I don't like the fact that there's a mad buffalo. Also, don't like the fact that that is a thing that is happening. Let's see, Sean, can we? Medical emergency for Berkey. Okay, reindeer's on it. John, you're awful. Oh, let's take that speed back down. Keep going. At least they're not attacking the animals. I'm pretty happy about that. We get the muffalo down. There we go. All right. That is happiness right there. Okay, Sean, can you continue to tend to Sid? Do we not have Sid using regular... Oh, that's right. We couldn't. We didn't. We didn't. We never could. We couldn't select him. Okay, let's get that back up. Um, Sean, why don't you go ahead and tend him again? We never checked his injuries. Got a scratch. Scratches. Just scratches. Actually, you know what? That... I think we will just do that. Uh, Berkey, how are you doing? Your stuff was all taken care of. You're not bad. Uh, Sean, you probably have a muffalo bite or two. Just a bruise. Not too worried about it. But uh, we do need to get that taken care of. My, um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that, that was a thing that happened, uh, completely and totally my fault as well. Oh, we got an infection. He is our best doctor too. That is the worst possible situation we could get is getting a bad infection on our best doctor. I guess we want to attend it. There goes the last of our medicine, but we got to do it. Got to do it. Bad. That's not good. 28% not, not excellent, but at least it's treated. 
Uh, 5.8, 6.3. Boy, that, 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 that's going up quick. Immunity, not so much. Well, um, easy come, easy go, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Sorry, it's totally not funny. But, um... It, it kind of is <laughs> a little bit, just a, just a little bit. Simple meals running away in storage. All right, so this is this is we're back to back to RimWorld proper here. Um, everybody's hurt. Um, Berkey's gonna die, and uh, Reindeer is off. Okay, he's off sleeping. Things will be just fine. Things will be just fine. Just wait till the next episode. You'll see. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.